Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet. So, a few things between parts. One, I ran around with my boy quite a bit. The best way to do it is, and this is what I did, so I sent him out, and then I hold back, and every now and then I press L1. I hope this counts as him walking with me, right? And if I just stay here, I should be good to get all the steps I need with him. Two, I did have some advice on certain Pokemon and how to deal with them, because of course I'm like, I asked for example, oh, oh right, I also found two. One, I found him. So this, I'll talk about the rest of it in a sec. So this is not a tentacool, it's a toad's cool. And I couldn't find him walking around. Instead, I found him in a Terra Den. So he's bug type. Um, he has Mycelium Might. The Pokemon will always act more slowly when using status moves, but they'll be unimpeded by the ability of the target. That is buck wild. The only problem is his typing is terrible. So we won't actually be using him here, which, yeah, is a bit of a shame. I also found this guy, Nimble. I was just out on a walk. Uh, trying to do the stuff, and I didn't even see him. He's so small that I didn't even see him appear. Um, so he's a bug type, and that's all we know. So very interesting, very interesting indeed. Uh, I've been told that Tauros does not level up, uh, so don't, don't do that there. I've been, t uh, or rather, he doesn't evolve, actually, which is surprising. I've been told Gimme Ghoul, I won't be evolving him very easily, so not worry about that. I have been told to level up these guys because my friend Beat said these guys haven't the the evolution has a name that is so silly that it gave him a laughing fit. Uh, that's it's genderless. Is it because they're meant to be male and female? Is that what it is? One literally one wears the pants. That's funny. Um, so I've been told to, to, to keep, keep leveling them up. I've also been told Nero's evolution involves an item. Uh, we're gonna keep leveling you up, because I want you to be, like, a main member of our party. But, uh, I have been told, yeah, it is item-based. So, that's just kind of where we're at. Uh, we're gonna keep on trying with some of these. Oh, cool, actually, I'm looking here. So, the last one is their Terra type, huh? Oh, I see. Electric fighting electric. So then for you, it'd be, yeah, ground grass bug. That's weird to see. Oh, and I've been told the dolphin is a pain in the butt to evolve, so that's not fun. But uh, anyways, that's sort of where we're... Oh my god. Little Scromblom blows asleep. Um, that said, let's go on an adventure. Let's, let's continue. First off, let's heal. Um, I didn't do too much. I did explore, I did get some more items. I basically just walked around this area, grabbed a bunch of items, um, battled a few Pokemon. I did find a you saw a Floet in there. That's a grass type Floet, which is funny because I always think that Floet is grass type. Uh, now it is. So hey, I never went further than this though. So this is this is all new. So yeah, I've been told there is Taurus stuff, but it's not it's not, like, I was I was given vague wording on, don't worry about it, you don't have to put them in your party. That was basically what I asked. I basically asked, hey, do I have to put these guys in my party, or is it something else I can do? Um, you know, just checking on that. Rain dance? Nice, actually. I did not even know you were there, buddy. Okay, so Fallout Berry. So we're gonna just keep walking with you as much as possible. What are some of the ones that I found here? So, you, actually, you know, we'll give you Thunderfang instead of Nuzzle, right? I think that's for the best, because then we can do better damage with that, because that is a thing with you. Uh, and then we will give you a Thunder Wave then, to actually get it so you can do uh, that there. Okay. Got rid of Charging up Thunder Wave. Anything else you got? You can get Metal Claw. That's not bad. Um, let's see here. Anything else that's interesting? Not really. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just continue. As we look for 
Anything else? Grippa. Great ball. Good. I need more of those. So I think coming up around here is actually going to be our first encounter with Team Star. Yeah, you can see it up there. The only thing is... Hello? Oh my god. Rototototo. The ball was stuck. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? Yeah. I mean, I have to. It's the story. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Not to be confused with Operation Rainfall. Hold on a second. Who's this? Who? Shut the front door. That is Clavel in a wig. What the frick? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's really freaking funny. Well, there goes my idea of who it was. Does this Operation Starfall have room for one more member? Who are you? Holy crap. The name's Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Tanner? I guess, maybe. <laughs> ah, shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against this so f clown shoes. I love it so much. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some uh, unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I just realized why I don't have access to my special bonus um, phone cases. It's because I haven't actually opened up a save data on Pokemon Legends Arceus or the other games on my new Switch. I played them all on my old Switch. Okay, next uh, before next part, I'll uh, just start up save files on them just to have. Good, now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Because you can't download them. They're not cloud save compatible. Yeah, so what do you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you defeat the boss of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their rule somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of the squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates in front of, one of, the, in, uh, in front of those bases now, in fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within the base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. <laughs> Stupid hair. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. What's more, if they so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. Frick, are we going to become the boss of Team Star? I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Tanner. They're basically declarations of war. Now all of Team Star knows that you're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are considerable size. Your garden variety trainers will be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Tanner. To defeat the Pokemon inside the base, drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely yet. From now, you'll, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as hand of support. You're a cautious run. Alright, I respect that. I'll be in touch again once the plan advances to the next stage. Good luck hunting out there. This is so freaking silly. It's the it's the it's the young boy shorts that are so funny. Welp, go get him, Tanner. Director Clavel, I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, <laughs> his little pose, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. 
I love the fact you can directly call him out and be like, you are just you. So I know it's a fire base, but I don't expect them to be using too much fire, personally. But when in doubt, we can send out you, right? So that's, that's good. All right. Hello? There we go. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? I'm not turning back. Well, alright. Time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Why are we so far apart? Hound hour? Okay, good good matchup for me. Yo, it's Wiglet Wednesday! Uh, I think we actually need the speed on him. Okay, not the best. Actually, I don't know if... if, if ooh! What are your stats like, buddy? Speed is high. Really? Defense is nothing. Nothing. Wow, okay. Not what I really expected. Okay. Alright. Oh, there we go. No arms the early riser. It worked. I guess it only comes up when you're doing it like that. Incinerate. Oh my god. What's this level difference? What is going on? What what the heck? I think we're a little weak actually. Okay, I may need to go do some battles then. Oh, I forgot that arm thrust is also super effective. Okay. Roar. It's gonna miss. And we're gonna pop on up. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't start the battle right away. Yeah, that was not great. I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, speaking of wasn't enough, can I go heal? Man, you're crazy strong. I don't know about that. Wait, are you the kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Tanner. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. That's the lamest thing, but it's absolutely why they're doing it. Hey, Tanner! Cassiopeia told me to scout out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Fufum? What? Yeah, who? Oh, hey! Fufoo! Is that you, Charlos? That is a freaking amazing name. Foo! I thought so. What are you doing here? Do you know this little fella? This is Charlos, the Char Cadet. Foom! He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Woo! Ah, Charlos, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I'd better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Tanner. No, I'm going back to heal, actually, right now. Is that an option? Rototototo? I see you dealt with the Grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedar Squad. The boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are very heavy-handed. Our bold declaration of war must make her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take all the grunts down nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Yeah, not yet. I gotta go heal. I gotta go not only heal, but I'm gonna go train up my team. Don't let me, don't make me ring the bell. Okay, good. Yeah, we need to, uh, zip zop zoobity bop on out of here. Okay. Ooh, hello, Cyclazar. And I did ask if Cyclazar, I'm like, be honest with me, Cyclazar... We got we got some stuff with him, and I was told no, he's 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 a one and done, uh, which good because I was like, 
I, when I looked at his move, Shed Tail, I'm like, as soon as I saw that, I immediately was like, there is... With a move that good, you seem like a one-and-done Pokemon. Like, you are a single... a single one. Which, yeah, that's fair. Because that is, you know, pretty important. What is that up there? Oh, it's a fire one. Also, hi. Let's battle you, because we're going to need levels. Oh, get ready to see a real chef at work. You're a woman. Never mind, that's the wrong voice. Eleanor. Well, maybe she has that voice, too. Who knows? Slowpoke. What level are you guys here? Why is he freaking out? Did you see that? He was kind of freaking out a bit. I don't know why. Um, water pulse? Is that just how he looks? Oh, frick, you are water, right? Your, your psychic is your secondary type. Right. Is it just what he does? Is he just a little freaky boy? Okay. In that case, you know what? We'll switch to you and rip into you. What is- oh no, there's a invisible Pokemon there. That's what it is. I was like, what is going on? I thought it was my Wiglet having a freak out. Also, don't put me to sleep. Let's kill you quickly. Seed Bomb. The fact that the Pokemon come up and watch is really funny, actually. I, I like it. I don't think we needed our, uh, Quick Claw. On, on on, that. So the question here is, will we get the evolution of uh, Pommy here? Why'd you go and do that? I just want to make some sandwiches for a picnic. Did we do a thousand steps? We super did not. Okay. So we're going to put you back as our lead. And we are going to just walk with you. Come with us as we look. And also check here. What's this? Fire type. So yeah, that, that's, that's what I, I went and did. Uh, cause I couldn't find them otherwise. I've been told when you see them in the overworld, it is a thing of majesty. Also, yeah, look at spy the Spyclops there. That's pretty cool. Uh, enjoying your day off? It, I mean, I guess, cause I am. Okay, buddy. Salvador the Janitor. Oh, he has the, the dolphin Pokemon on him. So if I didn't see it already, I'd be like, yo! Would freaking out. Also, bad choice for you, buddy. Thunderfang it is. Nice rip to you. Am I gonna get poison for poison point? Probably not if it's the end of battle, right? Nice. Good. It's, uh, it's a bit of damage here. Goodness, you're strong. I am. That's my whole, that's my whole goal, buddy. I want to be the very best. Something, something, you know the rest. Get him. Get him. Alright. Every little bit counts, right? Every little bit counts. So there were trainers just out, like, in the wild here. So. No, no, I want you to go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. Wait, what? <laughs> Dude ran and then he didn't. Interesting. Get him. Yeah, beat him up. Kill him. Multiple Pikachu. You normally don't see one Pikachu, let alone multiple, you know? Wow, we beat him up. Okay, so yeah, let's be on the lookout for trainers. And pogies! Is that gonna be the that's I think that's where I got the shine the, the floet there. Is that the floet again? Yeah. So tough to see. There we go. Beat a Kamala. Oh, Mr. No Miss No Arms learned it. Not Mr. That's a different. That's a different one. Uh, okay, here we go. Squawkabilly! Who I've learned is a one and done. What powers are flying taxis? Squawkabilly's plucky spirit. Which, I guess if they have multiple colors, yeah, they're not going to make a bunch of them. Squawkabilly's such a good design, though. I like it. I and I, You know what? I don't actually mind for the birds for them to be one and dones. Because in my eyes, it just makes sense. There is a large variety of birds that are just small and everywhere, right? That's just what they're like. They're birds. They're not like other creatures, which are a lot more everything, right? 
What spirit? I love it. More like I love your experience, buddy. It's the good stuff. So yeah, let's just keep looking for more tra whoa, trainers here. Just see. Yeah, the, the pop-in isn't great, although I did notice that it got a lot better when I res whoa, when I reset the game. Um, it actually did, like, make it seemingly run a bit better, even just for a little bit. Um, but it is a thing where it's like, yeah, I've seen multiple people say, like, please reset your game often. It is the smart thing to do. Right? Okay, so let's go. Hey, you leveled up. So the, the one thing I have been told, too, though, is... As good as it is to walk with them like this, it does not give you evolution. That you you can't evolve Pokemon this way. Uh, so you do need to watch for that yourself. Is this Psychic? I'm sorry, what are you... What is that? What is that? Uh, let's see what this is. Also, here's the cool thing. You can just go ready, start. What What are you... I... Am I crazy? Do I just not know what this is? What Pokemon are you? It looks like a Poliwag seen from above. What is that? Sorry, what am I looking at? I mean, the type is is whatever, but I'm more like what? What is that? Tad bulb. Oh, that's the baby form of that frog Pokemon. I see. I see. Um, let's do Thunder Wave. And yeah, it's Psychic here. Okay, so yeah, that's that's what becomes uh, Iona's po Iono's Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Good. Now beat it up, guys. Actually, attack, please. Um. Thunder Fang, Thunder Shock Bite, her up. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom. That's easy. You're dead. Okay, Tad Bulb. Okay, that's cute. Um, yeah, I want you. I mean, the Psychic is whatever. I'm more. I just want you because I've never seen you. You know, I was thinking how, um, that, yeah, that, that the evolution of this looks like a, like a poly, poly toad type, right? Like a poly, poly wrap. But no, it turns out that it, it might actually be, because it looks like a, a poly wag, right? Maybe. Interesting. But yeah, we know what this guy evolves into. At least, maybe it's... Second form, Tadbulb. The Ella Tadpole. Uh, if it senses danger, give it a nickname. Yes, because it is a nickname that I know that it is looks like when it evolves. And that's my boy Tanaquil. Those of you who know, you know. Yeah, I think, I think, well, it looks like it might have two evolutions, actually. Okay. Alright, so... Let's continue on our joiny. Actually, there might be Pokemon in the water. I should be looking out there too. Well, there's another person at least. I wonder if I can jump from here. I'll stick with it. I'll show you, I'm tenacious and I'll stick it out no matter how hard the battle gets. So I actually saw a really good post on, um, like, like you look at this and you're like, what are you doing as a student? But one, it did say in a trailer, Okay, that's a bit sus. Why do you have a Curlia, buddy? That's... Hmm, never mind. That's a bit weird. Um, oh, that's really not good, actually. That's a bad ability for you to get. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Um, whoa. Whoa. I just pressed L, L2. What about R2? Does R2 zoom in on my Pokemon? Okay, so that just zooms out on the opponent. Okay, so there's there's a zoom in on the opponent button. Is there no way to zoom in on mine? 
Oh, there's a tad bulb right there. Interesting. So I guess, I guess, yeah, you look like this, or you can zoom in on them. Okay. Um, for now, we'll just do... Because you're no longer psychic. Or, no, you're psychic fairy. So we'll do... Yeah, no, we're just going to get you out of here. Let's go psychic fairy... Poison is good on you. Yes. So yeah, like they were saying, um... It's good to kind of get rid of your biases on why is there this adult who's uh, oh that's gonna hurt actually yeah never mind that's bad the psychic is not good for that um why is there this adult who's uh you know uh, a dude and it's because yeah the game actually straight up says yeah no we have we have adults who are in it you know in learning too and it's like oh you got to think about that because it's easy to forget that there are adults who need to be in education and it's not something to be ashamed of right God, you look cool from the back. There we go. Okay. Alright, alright. Nice. Los Wiwis got Encore. Encore might not be bad. Eh, not a fan. Sorry, they have a full heal? Do they have pickup? They might have pickup, actually. I should probably check on that. Um, you can hurt Noibat, because I think Noibat's flying? Or is it just dragon? As much as I'm a big dumb weeb about Pokemon, I legitimately forget about type matchups. Or, no, or not type matchups, but the types that a Pokemon is sometimes. Um, so you know what? Let's, because we're going to need to go heal anyways. Let's, let's terastalize Thunderfang you. Just to, just to deal with ya. You know what? I'll say this. While this animation goes a bit long, it is shorter, I feel, than a lot of the, the other animations you gotta, you gotta deal with in the previous ones for the, the gimmick forms, you know? Yeah, I think it's dragon flying, meaning that it, it just does um, the two there. Okay. Alright, Zangoose? We can keep that. Alright, let's do arm thrust. Pretty good. I do want to get a better fighting type move with you. Because Arm Thrust ain't great. It's fine. I think Home Claws is your signature move. Right? Because it only does a little bit of damage. Can we get three? That'd be cool. Hey, okay. Okay. The only problem is it's just a random amount. I mean, double crits, though. Wow, okay. Dang. That ain't bad. Some good experience here. Oh, even though you still beat me, I still won't give up. I, again, I, I don't, I really don't mind adults in education as a thing here, because it, it's something that you kind of forget about. Yeah, let's give you some of these. 24, you good? No. Not yet. Okay. Health, you are low HP. Clever. Yeah, you have very low HP, it seems. Special defense. You need special defense. Special defense. Yeah, you're pretty weak there. Um. Get you some levels there. Okay. Yeah, do you just have pickup? Because if so, that's not bad. Whoops, we should probably... Uh, yes, pickup. Nice. Pickup is great. Pickup is very good. Okay, let's just go... I need to go here. I'm just not used to going here. Put away held item. That's what we need. Um... It is nice how they do make it easier to just sort of click around. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just 
did not mean to actually attack you. I wanted to just kill you, but... Uh, yeah, we'll do Ooh, dig. Nice. You are very small, actually. Alright, and... I wanted to just do the send him out to attack him thing, but I pressed the wrong one. Because one is walk or throw, and then the other is, uh, you know, do the, uh, the other one. Hello? What? Is there a Pokemon in the ground? What? Yo, you killed a ground pogey. Okay, that was that was a Pokemon that was in the ground. That's that's what I would call so far the first major glitch I've found, I'd say. A Pokemon spawning in the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty major, I'd say. At least you could battle it still. Man, though, I'm just thinking what if a dude gets a shiny in the ground? That would suck. There's Tauros. Is okay, look at the size difference here. That's huge. That size difference is massive. My Pokemon. Duh, oh, every time. My Pokemon and your Pokemon, what's so different about them? See, one of mine has a mark. Monica the student. Shellos here. Okay, I don't... So I can't use... I can't use uh, electric on it because it's part ground. Not great. Come on. Come on, buddy. More damage, more damage. These Taurus want to just wreck havoc. That's really bad, actually. Oh, wait, not... Oh, right, because I'm, cause I'm part uh, fighting type. The only problem with that is you can get uh, all your stats increased from that, which is a little scary. It's a little scary to get all your stats increased. Three times? Not bad, not bad. Oh, you're annoying! Okay, I see what we're doing. Yeah, in that case, no, I'm not. I'm not playing this this war of attrition. I'm just going to end you in a s one quick fell swoop. But yeah, you can very clearly see that the Pokemon have size differences there with the Taurus just right on camera there. All right, time to destroy you. Good, because that four times, baby. Yeah, we need this, though, to, to move on, for sure. Our pogies are not as strong as we'd like. They are just stanced up around us. It's a little scary. Also... Kill him! Nice, good. That was, that was a bit close, that one. Kill the carp! Oh, water stone! Dang, okay. Wait. Yeah, look at him swim! He's a little swimmy boy. Yeah, of course you're gonna beat him. Fin is in. So, I'm just gonna check right here. We got the water stone. Is that how we perhaps evolve? Nope. Just checking. Just checking. Revive. Very nice. I want to be number one! Oh, there's a... a sand guy. I want to be the number one. I'm going to be the strongest. I really like the sand Pokemon. Palo Sand and its evolution there. Anas. Anas? I'll say it. What the fr- Oh, yo! That's pretty cool. That's the evolution of the dude we saw at the beginning. Low kicks? I need to see you, actually. Oh, yo! Yo, that's cool! Yeah, 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 I like that. Let's Thunder Fang him. He's probably Steel Bug. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming at least. U-turn? Do you have another Pokemon to send out? Good. So maybe we can get one we're better with. That's a sick Pogey, though. Oh, good. We can murderize you. Thunder Fang? Oh yeah, these guys are level 26. Yeah, you, you guys are a bit tough. Come on, get stunned, get stunned. Stay stunned. Well, that's annoying. But also not great for, for the opponent. 
I mean, it's fine. Low Kicks again. Low Kicks is a good name. Um, well, if you're Steel, I think, Arm Thrust might do some good damage to you. No, it's neutral because Bug, too, right? That's fair. Yeah, that's just a robot. I like it. That's cool that you can actually look at them like that. So it's, it's you turning. It's going to send out Rufflet. But then after Rufflet, who's nearly dead, it's going to be him. So then I'll, I'll, I'll send out... Um, and I think U-Turn makes them go first, yeah. So you only have the two Pokemon anyways. Okay, so then if we're going to send out the Fire one after... Or send out the Steel Bug, we'll use Fire here. Okay, and let's go... Ember. Good. Rip to you, here we go. Yep, good. Big experience on them. Okay. Alright. Uh, Ember, yep. Decent damage, but not bad, and you can't go back anyways. Okay, yeah, we got this. One more hit. Well, never mind. It looks real cool, like its legs kind of launch it. It's a very common rider. I like it. It looks like the evil counterpart to Bisharp, right? Maybe I'm crazy on that, but that's what I see when I look at it. Is I see, like, if Bisharp is a common rider, then this is, like, an enemy or evil common rider. So you're fast, so we can use Water Pulse probably, right? Never mind. Frick, you're not... You're very squishy, buddy. Which, yeah, that's fair, but I need to evolve you. Um, just go with you and... I just realized it's a bad matchup for you too, huh? Because you don't have moves there. Well, we get to see them. Los Suibis. Um, let's go with Bullet Seed. It's the best one we got. Oh, boy. Never... Wow! You're getting swibbity sweeped. Let's just send out you, then. Okay, we're gonna need to go with that Pokemon Center right there in just a second. Uh, low kick? Should do good damage. Thank you. Especially if it's heavy. This should, this should deal good damage, because you... Oh, never mind. Wow! Are we gonna get killed by a child? If we survive this, we're good. But if not, then we're screwed. Come on, Miss No Arms. We went way too far, I guess. Mud Shot is our best move choice. Don't die. Good. Whoa, oh my god, are you serious? It's not very effective. Well, your speed fell at least. Okay, I'm going to play it safe here. Uh, if all you have really is U-turn, that's not good against you, so we'll use that. Oh my god. This is- this is Kring. Yeah. So you should be fast enough and be able to tank that one hit there. Right, let's do this. Just tank the one hit, that's all you need. That's all you need, it's a bad matchup. Good. Oh my god. This kid nearly destroyed us. All my hard-earned money would go away and I haven't even spent it much yet. That Meryl's like, what the frick just happened? Good money from you. Okay, yeah, let's head on out of here. Let's go to that Pokemon Center. Mariani Spike, nice. Let's grab some of these just on the way. Great ball. We're gonna try and not... We're gonna try and not touch a Pokemon on the way. I see... Okay, no, that's an item. Ball Magberry. Lavincia. It's a fancy name. Okay. 
This oh, this is Iono's place. Okay, yeah, we need to definitely. I want him to be like, "What did you do?" All right, all right, all right, all right. So, okay, I went ahead and charged Terror Orb. Come see us. Yeah, uh, let's also talk to you. We haven't bought much, but I should probably buy some stuff. For one, great balls. We need them now. Yeah. Two Premier Balls. Revive, we have 13. That's not bad. Full Heal, I think we have a couple of those. Super Potions, we have 12. We're good for now. Hold on to our Moolah. Okay, so did, is this in the city are you talking about? Uh, defeat two trainers in Area 2, defeat 6. Okay, well... Well, let's head on over here. Oh, here's another trainer. I mean, we could do that. Sure, we might as well, honestly. Never mind, do you not wanna? Okay, so yeah, like, look, there is, they are different looking. It's, like, very little, but there is a difference. Also a dragon den? Are you serious? Can I check that out? Or is it way too, it's way too high up for me right now. Okay, well, we'll go check that out in a sec. Because dragon is interesting. Dragon is almost like removing most weaknesses. We'll battle you first. We need, still need levels. I don't want to do my, oh man, that's too real. Christian the office worker. Yeah, I feel like NPCs are way more varied. It feels like they really did a overhaul on just giving them new designs, like multiple new designs. Fairy lock, I don't think I've ever seen this move. Oh, no one will be able to run away. Sure. Not too worried about that myself. Okay. That's really funny. Well, hello, Cyclozar. It's funny because you're stuck in your job, buddy. Like, that's... It's, it's symbolic, man. Wow. We're just doing this? I mean, thanks for the free experience. I'll take it. Okay. We still need more steps with, with our Pawnee, it seems. Well, we got to level 25 at least. Well, you meanie head, you are an adult male. Oh. <gasps> it's happening. Whoa, my God. Yeah, so I saw you from the back. Uh, you're amazing. Claude Sire? Oh my god, the spiny fish Pokemon. When attacked, will retaliate by sticking thick spikes out of its body. It's a risky move that puts everything online. You're cute! Claude Sire. Amnesia. Are you a... You're not a special attacker. Well, boost special defense. Yeah, you don't need more of that. You don't need more of that at all. Well, welcome to the team. Good. Nice. Well, that means more legs, not more arms. Um, rain dance you can learn. That's about it. Okay. Um, I think it's a Magnemite. Are you just a regular Magnemite? Boy, you are very shiny. Can we not look at you? There we go. You are so reflective. Arm thrust. I was still kind of hoping for, uh, like a regional form on Magnemite in, um, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Like, pre- pre-electricity Magnemite, but that's fine. It's understandable why it still exists. Electricity has always existed. It's other stuff that, you know, doesn't exist. Um, and then there's time portals anyways. Because that was before we knew it was an isekai. Remember how they just straight up hid that it was an isekai? Isn't that wild? I love it. More Pokemon games need to just hide stuff. Okay. So there's like a lot here that we didn't see. I don't think we... Is this just a different road? I think this is. I think it's just a whole new place. Have you been to the Great Crater Poly? No, I literally can't. Oh my god. It's blonde critical. 
What's up guys, this is Blonde Critical here. Checking out all the blonde news. Okay, attack fell, that's not good. Um, I don't know if you're dark type yet. Are you just ground? I don't know, actually. Regardless, we're dealing good damage. I think you might still be dark ground. Okay. Nice. And what, you got, got another one? I didn't see, actually. Nope. Okay. Sounds good. We're getting small experience now, for sure. Not the best. Confidence is cratering. Yeah, buddy, I... Whoa! I actually can't... Like, I can't go to the crater. You should know this. I mean, you're in our world. The world of Pokemon. Stay out. Don't go away. Um, what is that? Oh! I see! Time must have just changed or something. Hello? No, wrong button! I want to do the auto battle. If I run, can I run an auto battle just nice and quick? Let's see here. Yes, I can. Good. I mean, I hear it. It sounds like it's right here. And yet I don't see it. Huh. I guess you can hear the shiny noise. Hmm. Strange. Well, okay. There's another dude up here. I say dude, but it could very well not be. What's a cabbie? Where'd you come from? I was singing to myself when no one was around. So you probably use... Uh, birds? The room? The room. Well, there's the engine Pokemon that people saw on the, um, the car. The room. Well, you're obviously steel. St is it steel poison? Like, is it smog? Ooh, interesting. What type are you? I mean, besides sucker, because look at the look at the lips on you. Jeez, what are you gonna use? Assurance? Are you dark? But then, if you're dark, how come we're not doing the moves? Are you pure poison? No, it's it's got to be steel something. Steel fairy? What are you? What the heck? Okay. The room, huh? I want to see where I can find him, because he's weird. Thanks, Omar. Oh, you can actually hear him clap. Did he? When? When did he defeat a Meryl? Was that in the middle of battle? I mean, I'll take it. Um, so we check our Pokedex. Where can we find him? Battled Pokemon. Varum. Habitat. Where are they? Oh, way up there. Okay. Oh, it's Steel Poison. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so we can so we can actually check for any Pokemon that we don't know here. That's good. Um, let's see. Low Kicks? Are they in the wild? And what type are you? Dark Bug! Okay. So yeah, you're up there. Let's see. What else? Is there any other Pokemon that I want to see? Uh, where they are. So wait, the ones that have the little thing. Oh! Hold up. You can actually just check. Oh, frick. Well, dang. Okay, Fido, do you have an Evo? You do. Do you have another Evo? You... That's... That's slacking. Oh, yeah, we skipped some numbers, that's why. Okay. I thought it turned into it. Uh, Los Wiwis? I... See, part of me doesn't want to see it spoiled, though. But that's cool, I can actually just check for a lot of these Pokémon if they have evolutions. Huh. 
That's an interesting thing I never considered. I actually really appreciate this. I mean, I guess it's no different. Some of the other games did that. So yeah, like Squawkabilly, if I go to the next one. Yeah, that's Mischievous. Oh, what about Knackly? That's a Knackly Evo. Um, let's see here. Do you have... Is it... Yeah, so you have your regular form there. 71. Yeah, that that's Belly Bolt. What about you, Watrell? Okay, you turn into a seagull. Electric seagull. Shrewdel. Oh, does Shrewdel turn into the monkey? Oh, that makes sense. He does look similar. I didn't even put that together. Yeah, look, Taurus here. Yeah, there's only the one, I guess. Um, Toad's cool, and then the evolution. No? Oh, yeah, we don't have the evolution there. Cloth? Does Cloth, cloth evolve? No, what is that? That's something I don't know. Wiglet? <laughs> I think I've seen one of those at the back of a Spencer's. Let's see what Finizen's Evo looks like. That's a Beluga. Varum? That's, yeah, that's the engine. Yeah. Cyclazar. Oh. That's a different one. Oh, this is, this is great, actually. Gimme Ghoul. Oh my god. So I've, I've heard tell of how apparently really good Gimme Ghoul's evolution is. Just like from a design standpoint. So that's interesting. Okay, that's good. That's, that's pretty good that we were able to do that, actually. Um, the only thing is we still need to get more, get more steps here. Super Potion, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll battle pretty much everyone just right now, because one, we're seeing new Pokemon. Oh my god, are you Chuni? Oh my god, are you a Chuni? Beatriz the Chuni? Please tell me about your, your secret eye. I don't mean like that! I mean like your, your, your secret power in your eye- oh, frick. Guys. It's hard not to say stuff that embarrasses me. These words just come out. I'm so used to saying stuff like this for the fact that it gets funny reactions. But I don't even stop and consider what it is I'm saying. I meant like her, her eye patch. Controlling her powers and stuff, you know? Man. Thanks for helping me tamp down my power like that. It can be pretty overwhelming. Yeah, okay, so she's Chuny. Big Chuny. Um, I don't think we can hop here. Yeah, it's fine. Is this... So did we... Where are we right now? That's the wrong button. Wrong button. Oh! Wait. East Province 2. Did we go? Oh no, I see. Okay, I was like, I was like, what the heck? But no, it's it's like this way. Okay. Okay. So we're just kind of in a different area. Okay. I thought for a second that we like somehow got to the other end of the continent, and I was gonna be like, what did I do? How? I just walked. Hello. Psychic terrain. One of those moves that's a bit too intellectual for me. Oh, Gimme Ghoul, right there. So yeah, um, I'm gonna, so I'll just say, apparently to evolve him you need 999 Gimme Ghoul coins. Which, uh, yikes. Now thankfully, it's actually apparently not too bad because you can talk to him and you usually get, you would get between one and five, uh, and also, when you kill one, apparently there is a chance to hit the jackpot, and in doing so get, um, uh, 777 by killing one of them. So, hey, that's not too bad if that's the case, you know? I can handle that. What level are you guys? Okay, you guys are fairly weak here. I pressed the wrong button. This is gonna be a major just training arc episode, which... This is not the best for entertainment, but, I mean, we are seeing new stuff. 
Okay. Let's see here. My man's just fighting out there. Nest ball. Okay. Let's see. A lot of similar Pokemon. And it it's interesting, because I know there's some people who are really against, like, oh, I have to use the new Pokemon every time I play. I like it. Restricting myself. It's nice, actually. Alright, what do we got at the fighting one here? Who, who's our fighty boy? Oh! Eh. Eh. I used you last time. Poison Tail, not bad. Just can't decide. I uh, just can't decide. What do you think? Should I go to Artisan for Experience Real Art or Lavincia for Big City Thrills? I say, follow your heart, Valentin. What the frick? Bramblin? It's a tumbleweed! That's pretty good. Well, you're always going to be grass type, so we might as well hit you with some poison here. Give you some, some play. Bramblin! Bramblin! You are- you just look like- you look like a waylord. Like, you look like a waylord- a land waylord. Let's use poison tail here. So, I'm guessing, yeah, you gotta be... Also, yeah, don't use poison or toxic spikes, because you're getting rid of them. Oh yeah, there's the things there. Whoa! Are you... Are you not grass type? It's either that or you're grass and something else. I mean, the nice thing is we can check the Pokedex after. Bramblin. Well, that's fun, because I'm sure you're going to find him rolling around the... the, like, dusty plains. Oh! Oh, <laughs> guess I should worry more about which move to use in battle. Bramblin. Yeah, show, show, show me. I press every button but the one I want. Show me Bramblin's Pokedex here. Bramblin. He is Grass Ghost. That makes sense. And he's up there. Okay. Bramblin. He's a Ramblin Blam Bramblin man. What was that? Oh, it's a Shruby. Okay. Yeah, because we saw the monkey guy in the pre-evolutions, uh, or no, the pre-release stuff, so it, that, that's, that wasn't too much of a crazy one there. I didn't put together that he became it, though. There's a lot of deerlings out and about. Maybe it just, it must just be the area that we're in. I mean, I'm not trying to battle you. I did mean to press that. I'm just trying to walk. Just trying to walk here, Steeny. All right, what do we got? What 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 is that over there though? Tama ma 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 mulberry, rare bone. Do we got a grass boy. What is this? Uh, grass type bird boy. Nah, that's fine. I wonder if they're completely random or if they are like set. My map keeps spinning. Stop holding down the button. The map app in my phone keeps spinning. Make it stop. <laughs> I want it to be like there's a smudge on his screen. And it's... Because that's, that's what happens to me. And it's awful. I hate it. My phone has a little, like, part at the bottom. Like, right where you press the, um, the home button. It has a little smudge. And that little smudge will make it sometimes where it'll just start to detect it as a finger press. And so because of that, I'll literally, like, have to, like, tur like turn off my phone screen, wipe it down, and then I can turn it back on again, and then it works. And it's super annoying. It'll just, like, basically mash the home button. I hate that. Wigglet has learned headbutt. Mm, 80 attack. 70 but can flinch. I'll take... Flinch is nice, actually. The The chance of flinch is really good. That might be Jorge, considering where we are. I'm in a real downward spiral now. <laughs> Buddy, it's just your phone app. Don't worry. You're fine. You're, you're fine. No worries here. Okay. Send you out here. 
EXP candy. Oh my god. Saw you at school talking so familiarly with Dr. Clavel. What do you mean familiarly? Mercedes. Like from Fire Emblem? Whoa! There's a dung beetle? Relor. He's an upside down dung beetle. How peculiar. I bet you it's ground type. Let's see here. No? Just bug? It's kind of weak. Boy! Just everywhere I turn, there's a new pogey! Oh, sweet Clavel, what do you see in this ne'er do well? Nothing. He's a. the principal. That's his job. Alright, let's see here. Relor. Habitat? Where does he live? All only there. He is just bug. Interesting. Interesting. More pogies to consider. Okay, so can't go there. Okay. Again, walk with you. Dash with you. So, I wonder when, when it says steps taken to walk with them, like, does this count or does it have to be me on the ground here? Because it's apparently a thousand steps, which I thought I should have accomplished by now with me running in circles. Hello, sir. Alright! Alright, just one bout. This will be a good warm-up before I head to the work site. See, one of the reasons why I didn't want to do Able... Nice. Um, one of the reasons I didn't want to do, like, this sort of grinding off-screen, though... Is that a freaking Greedent? Is that a freaking Greedent? I'm going to kill you so hard. I'm going to kill you so hard. So, uh... Here's the thing. If I grinded off screen, you wouldn't get to see me react to some of these new Pokemon, so... Let's see here. I hate you, Greedent, so much. Who looked at Greedent and was like, that's a good design. Right? Like, that's good. That's good. Greedent looks to me like that one secret boss from Undertale who is secretly a, a fetish character. And by secretly, I mean very publicly. Um... Like, oh, look, oh, and now I swallow and my big tummy gets bigger. Oh, don't you, don't you hate the fact that my, my tummy's inflated? That's all I see. That's all I see. Like, Greedent is the definition of fur affinity as a Pokemon, right? Come on, let me hit, let me hit one more time. Come on. Okay, good, good. Stockpile won't heal him. Um, he has to use Swallow. I hate Greedent so much. I was very confused when Stockpile was added as a kid. I remember playing and seeing the phrase Pelipper Stockpiled 1, and all I could think to myself is, what does that mean? And then I learned later about Spit Up and, and Swallow. But what strange moves, because... Like... And then later on they made it where stockpile increases your defense, but if you didn't know that, like, you were just screwed. You, yeah, I, I... Didn't warm me up at all. Yeah, it's, it's a very strange... Very strange way. Kill him. Good. Okay, um... I think... I think... We should be pretty good to actually go do the battle here, in in within the actual place now. I think so, at least. Hey, you leveled up. Okay. Oinkloney. Wore itself out. Okay, that's fine. See, so, yeah, I think we should be good, though. So let's head on back. Well, first off, let's check this. I oh, didn't know what that was for a sec. Uh, this is... Yeah, no, that's fine. It's a lot of Pokemon. You know what this reminds me of? And I say this now in a good way. This, the way that the world is laid out, it reminds me of X and Y. But this time it's working. X and Y had a very open 
world sort of thing, but it was still structured to go a straight line. Um, and also, like, the, the, the environment was, like, every area just felt like there was a lot of Pokemon. Just a lot of them. And it didn't feel cohesive, but I, I guess here, because they're walking around everywhere, at least they're cohesive enough that you can sort of understand it, right? Okay, so yeah, we're going, we're going here first. Set his destination. Okay. Oh, cool, he actually turns to face it. That's a nice touch. So yeah, let's bring you out with us. And as we go, we will, we will, we will battle you now that we can. Oh, can we actually just start here too? Oh, cool. Good. Ready to challenge Team Star with the, using the first? Ooh, okay. Let's go you at the front. Oh, first three Pokemon. We're actually not going to use... Yeah, let's not use... I mean, we, we could use you, actually, maybe. Because if, if they're going to be mostly fire types... But then again, they might have some normals. So you know what? Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with you guys. I think this makes sense. Sure, let's give it a shot. Let's see how we do. Careful now, Tanner. Team Star is a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have the battle at the same time. Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp. Okay, so we can heal. Good. Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know he's messing with us. Let's teach him a lesson. We won't forget to our unwanted guests. Defeat 30 of them in the next 10 minutes. Our boss might make an appearance. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad. Send out your Pokemon with R to defeat a set number of them. When you're taken, you can have three of them out at the same time. You'll lose if you run out of time. When your Pokemon can no longer battle, restore it by using a vending machine. Okay, good. Let's go. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright. Not the best matchup here, but... Okay. Got a bunch there. Oh, we got up here. Oh, you're not doing great. But just barely. Okay, we need to... Let's... Let's... Can we go back and heal? Can we do that quickly? Yeah, bringing you is not the best idea. Do you want me to heal? Yes. Are we going to lose time on this? No. Okay, good. Uh, let's see here. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. There we go. You could no tank. You could tank them all, actually, really. Nice. Okay. Bunch down here. Oh, there's a vending machine too. Okay. Good heal. It's very nice that they have these here. Why do they? Who knows? I'm not going to complain though. Um, let's head up here. So yeah, it is, it is very much tied to the type here. So bringing Neko Arc was probably a bad idea. I was expecting a bit more type coverage. You know, I was expecting a bit more like here are Pokemon that are specifically better for this one than that one, but it's fine, it's fine. I mean, you have more than enough time. And I mean, like, Miss No Arms can literally one- Oh, game! Could literally one-shot most of them. Like, watch this. Yeah, like, look. So powerful. Okay. Okay, we're gonna send you out here. Then we're gonna send out... 
Oh boy, yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get owned. Wait, did you die? I think you did. Once more heal. We only need two more anyways. Okay, let's see. Send up you two. That should be it. Nice. Okay. Our defensive reach is up to the boss now. Yeah, there it is. You can see. So yeah, you can see which ones are the uh, the rooms, and then see the engine on the top. God, your design is so good. Boss of Team Stars Fire Crew, Mela. Her boots are so big. I love them. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Yo, that guitar? Challenge by Mela of Team Star. Imagine being the guy whose job it is at Game Freak to just have this guitar go buck wild. Right here, right now, you're going down. Drought. Okay. You're pretty strong, so we're gonna start with the Thunder Wave. You're you're slow though, so that's good. We might we might uh, stop you here. Can we use Dig on you even? This move will torch you till there's nothing but ain't nothing but ash left. The trainer from Pallet Town. Oh boy. No. You're dead. That was for the rest of the Shedar squad. Is there, is there vocals, kind of? Oh my god, you hang, you hung on. Do we have a full restore? We super don't. Okay, in that case, um... I might as well just do an attack this turn, because uh, we're not going to be getting off a dig on you. Yo, this music. Yeah, that's fine. Do we have our six now, by the way? Just a question. Good, good. Um, so yeah, now we'll go with... I'm going to do some water-type moves on you now. Come on, Wiglet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sorry, what are these numbers? Am I going crazy or is like the is are are you like way more powerful than you should be? Like ridiculously more powerful? Uh mud shot for now. Good, good, okay. Oh, it's because his defense is high, right. Okay, not great. His special defense is low, though. Yo, this guitar, though. Oh, frick. Okay, that's fine. We should be able to, to tank this here. Oh, and it's because he has the sunlight, too. That's why he was so buffed. I was like, why is it doing so much damage? And yeah, it's because of that. Good, okay. We're gonna get a mutually assured destruction here. Re rev Revavoom? I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. We're gonna fight the car. Shut up, that's so good. I know people were saying the car is a Pokemon, and it literally is! Okay, so it's Steel Poison, right? Okay, well, we can Mud Shot on you here. Oh my god, you're fast. Wait, are you Fire, though, considering your type now? I don't actually know. 
Oh no, oh we ain't we ain't hitting you with, with speed slowers. Um, I wonder if I can super fang on you. Because you are big HP. Or am I thinking of hyper fang? No, super fang does Don't die. Good. Good. Come on, Super Fang, don't, don't, don't not work, because you're like a boss. Good? That did not do half HP. Okay. Okay, so you can see, yeah, it's like a little engine block normally. I do love being able to fight boss-only forms. That's fun. Like, Pokemon has not always had that. Okay, so... I bet you he's real heavy, though. Blazing Torque, I'm worried about. Especially on you. But if we can get... You're probably heavy. And you probably will get hit hard. No, you're only effective. Dang. D okay. Okay, well, this won't do a ton. Wow, you are difficult to fight. guess you're not that heavy. Dang! I am kind of shocked by the difficulty of this Pokemon game. Um, jeez. Well, okay, what's effective? Dig is effective. Water is effective. So, hmm. Well, if we Aqua Jet, we can do that. So we're going to use your turn to heal you so you can Aqua Jet. Because Aqua Jet will go first. Hey, thank you. I'll take that. I have not had to item spam in a Pokemon game in a long time. Uh, I don't think we'll survive. Well, we no, if, if you're part Fire type, which I think you are at this point, I don't think we can... Um, yeah, I don't think we'd be able to uh, use uh, Will-O-Wisp on you. Okay, so let's see here. It might, it might become... Uh, maybe it loses poison for fire. That'd be interesting. Uh, so yeah, we're going to use... Because you, you can come out and do a single hit, but you need to come out for more. Okay. I'm shocked you haven't attacked me yet. Thank you for just giving me this time, though. So, like, could I, could I, could I trap you in a vortex? Is that possible? It's not very effective, but astonish. Can we astonish you? Oh, frick! Flash fire. That actually did decent damage too. Okay, well, flash fire has upped our attack. That might kill me. No! Frick, you're really good then! Never mind. Yeah, let's see here. Can we can we get you trapped? Dang, are you too big for that? Are you is the game literally saying you can't do that because he can't be trapped? Um, okay, in that case, let's use this. Okay. The little, the little funeral dirge there is pretty fun, too. Also, wow, we're still just going, huh? I might as well revive you guys to get more experience later. And also be an item slave if we need. Wow! This is, this is an interesting thing. Uh, so let's use Ember? Because if we powered up our stuff, we should do good damage. Let's see here. Oh, it's not great. Um, we'll try. Nope, never mind. And Swift never misses. Okay. So now, let's bring out Wednesday. Let's do an Aqua Jet. Mm -hmm. Okay, Aqua Jet. Mm, pretty good. Okay. 
So now we want to do... Let's see here. So Dig is super effective. Might as well pop that. I mean, its speed's pretty high, so a Blazing Torque could hurt us here quite a bit. But if we can get in the ground, good. Which we can do. Okay. Blazing Torque, it's gonna miss. If we come up and it uses Screech again, that's gonna be real good. There we go. All right. Blazing Torque, don't kill. Ooh. All right, all right. Yeah, our defense being lowered would do that though. Uh, no arms, Mudshot is super effective. You are pretty bulky from what I recall too, so. Mud shot. Oh, good, good, we'll take that. And that should help to lower the speed. Probably not a lot. Okay. It's not gonna be great. Yeah, whatever. Its speed went from not maxed to back to maxed. Ooh, okay. Oh, frick. Well, it's special attack, it's fine. This is tough! We're just, we're like, just, just barely there, you know? So we're gonna super die next turn. So I'm gonna use this turn to bring back Nero to be another item shield. Which we don't have lots of items, but we have enough to help us survive for at least a little bit. Yeah, Blazing Torque. Because it can't hit us with Blazing Torque. Swift shouldn't do enough to kill. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. Um, I might have to save these for, for later, honestly. Let's, ha let's bring you back, because we can get that guaranteed damage with uh, the water, the Aqua Jet. Yeah, you'll survive that. And then we'll go... We'll also revive... No arms for at least one hit there, hopefully. Okay. I'm using up all these items. Hey, look at that. We're going to get one more then. Well, at least we can guarantee Miss No Arm survives by uh, giving a healing item there. Let's give you a Laominade. This is a surprisingly difficult boss fight. I think I'm going to need to come back when I have, like, okay, we're gonna send out no arms first, I feel. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna need to do these later. I feel this is way too early, right? I feel like I should do the next gym instead. Good, good, little damage, little damage. Because you didn't lower my defense. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. And sp again, speed boost will bring it right back up. Okay, here we go. Okay. Mudshot. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Defeated Mel of Team Star. That was tough. That was a legitimately really tough battle. <laughs> Sorry, do I not get experience? Uh, is this really how it's going to end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pull it off just in time. Oh, okay, so we get it. Sorry, you are tall, ma'am. Welcome back, Melly. Uh, I managed to get a bunch of uh, Charcade to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut up with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. Okay, so you're a big woman. How come there's so many big women in this game? That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always just been jealous of how cute Melly is. She puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her silly attitude is what people know her for. You are great. What? Come on, not you too, Ari. 
uh, Gia Giacomo. How about we leave it to that? At that, folks, it's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star, it's finally happening. And the big boss, what pray is their plan? Uh, they already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. We're getting big plot with them. I burned through everything I had. Now I've sputtered out. Yes, this is where it ends. That pomo of yours really let us have it. Why do you, why do you walk like that? <laughs> why do you walk like that? Dang, girl, you gotta walk like that? She has to, she can't bend her knees, so this loser has to walk like that. Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so Tay here. Take this star badge and be proud of yourself. I thought she was, like, CBTing me. Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM2 knock. I'm going to use it. Ooh, flame charge. Nice. That's good. Let me make this one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your pomo. <laughs> it's, you know what? Like, I know there's people that look at that and be like, Ugh, another bad animation from Game Freak. No, that's intentional. And that's so funny. That's so funny. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. <coughs> oh, I'm choking from laughter. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. How are you supposed to be? Vroom. A Char Cadet, wait. Vroom. Oh, ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. Vroom. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flame moves. Do you have any idea why Charles wanted to visit you? Vroom. It's good music. Vroom. Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. And what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? I made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But I never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? No, not Operation Star Fall? No, this is the first time I'm hearing it. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a moment we'll always treasure. I'm I'm actually really liking the characterization in some of these characters. Like, there's a lot of NPCs in this. It feels like more so than most Pokemon games. But they're well done. Tanner, it's me. Seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her being a boss. She gave it to you, didn't she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shadar squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Oh, were you, are you the boss? Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Nice. You can now make more kinds of TMs. Oh, frick, that's good. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These new TMs should help uh, improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much use that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from the supply unit uh, will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Who's this? Oh! Oh? Hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember me, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Person who absolutely has magnet-themed pants and might be a VTuber. Oh, so you do remember. But I'm, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go. Your bonus from Cassiopeia. I didn't know this would be your thing. Huh. You should be able to make lots of TMs with those. 
and Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. You're adorable. Your hair's kind of whack, though. You got that Fire Emblem Engage drip going on, which is not great. Can we go back in the base? Is that a thing now? Is the base just free for us to enter? Is it just now, like... Oh, you guys are still here? Oh, interesting. They just they just chill out here, huh? Can I use the, the, the thing here still? Oh! Dang it! So this... Okay, I was gonna say, is there any point to come up here? There's items. Got a burn heal. Um, let's see. Just check for any other items, because, I mean, if you're talking about evolving a Char Cadet, that might be a thing we can do here. There may be an item for it. Right? Is anyone else thinking the same thing? Thinking, like, if, if she was talking about evolving the Char Cadet, then, like, it might be a thing we can do. Look at this little secret area. Cool. Nothing. Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. Just jumping around. Oh, what's this say? Uh, the boss may be gone, but we'll protect the space even if the boss ain't here. You want to challenge it? No, I'm fine. We just did that. We just did it. That's that's all cool. These are surprisingly large areas for something that you kind of finish rather quickly. Um, okay, so I guess I was wrong. There isn't anything there. Let us... So yeah, we didn't get much experience for that. Let's go... Actually, is he... He's not here. Okay, interesting. Uh, so we want to go... The button is this one. Okay. So... We did one, two, and three. Is there... Could we have gone the other way? Could we have gone through... Path of Legends, the Quaking Titan. And you're here. I think... I think at this point... I kind of want to go backwards now... And take on the other area here. Right? So if we, if we start from here, from Mesa Goza... And then we'll go out the gate, and then we'll go that way. Because I feel like that makes more sense rather than continuing on to uh, rather rough, you know, waters, essentially. Plus, we may not even be able to go on if we need Surf, which I feel like we might need to in pretty soon time. So we'll go here first. And before we go, we will check this out. I'd like to heal, please. Definitely want to get some of you guys stronger, that's for sure. Right now, Wiglet is pretty weak, and I'm, I want you stronger. Uh, so let's go again by Craftable, Charm, Mud Slap, Thunder Fang, Psy Beam, Struggle Bug, Low Kick, Disarming Voice, Metal Claw, Swift, Flame Charge. I mean, we got Flame Charge already. What else do we have here, though? Can we go by, um... By number? No. Can't really tell which is the new ones we have. Um, Firefang, we need Hound Hours. Just looking here. Thunderfang, we got. Grass Knot. Grass Knot's good. Um, Trailblaze. You can learn Trailblaze, but I don't need that on you. Low Sweep. We need Mankey. Shrewdle Ink. Venoshock. Mud Slap, we, I don't need that. Acrobatics and Air Cutter. A lot of Psychic. Struggle Bug. I don't really need that. Rock Blast, Hex. Dragon Tail needs Sand Dial. It's a bit strange, Sand Dial as a choice. Hmm. It's not saying there's going to be a, a new Sand Dial evolution, is there? A Dragon type? That'd be interesting. All right, though. Well, sounds good. Are you, like, and again, 
if you're still not ready to go, I'm just gonna walk around with him for just, like, in circles, because that's ridiculous that he still isn't ready to evolve. Uh, anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time for some more Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet, wherein we continue our quest. We'll see you then. Ciao.